Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Uh, some of you might not know that uh, Peggy, my wife Peggy, is a native of Spartanburg and always look forward to coming to Spartanburg. This is the sound of happiness you hear behind us. I'll be very briefly, the uh, best way to make a good speech, they say, is to stand up, be seen, speak up, be heard, and sit down to be appreciated. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move. I just want to congratulate you on what you see going on here. This is the future of our state. This is what you see here is what has brought us to where we are now. This is why we're the envy, not only of this country, but the envy of the world. I just had a meeting of, in Mississippi where we were discussing the new Opportunity Zone legislation, federal legislation that we're already implementing here in South Carolina. The legislature wisely passed a uh, rural school district economic closing fund. Rural School District Economic Development Closing Fund. I want to thank you. I think it's the only one in the country. We're doing things they aren't doing in other places. We have the best technical college system, whether you call it a technical college, community college, the research universities that collaborate, high schools that are collaborating. But we have, according to people all over the world, we have the best technical college system in the entire world. And that is what is opening doors is this kind of education and training. It is a college education. It is important. And the field is wide open today. And it is vividly demonstrated in the manufacturing prowess that we have in South Carolina. As Max said, we were at, uh, at, at BMW on Monday for their 25th anniversary of producing vehicles. And just think for a minute. When you think of manufacturing, you think of the skill, the precision, the expertise, the education, the training it takes at this one plant in, in Grip. And there are other plants around the world. Of course, we have Mercedes here, we have Volvo here, we have Boeing here, we have, all, we have BMW, and then there's a, we produce more tires than anyone in the any state in the whole, whole country. But at BMW is an example of advanced manufacturing. Ladies and gentlemen, they produce a new BMW vehicle every 61.7 seconds. That's 1,400 plus a day. And to supply, to bring all the parts that they have to put together, they have over 1,800 18-wheeler trucks coming in to that plant, which is BMW's largest in the world, a day. And you can imagine the kind of skill and precision the kind of knowledge, the kind of education and training it takes to do that. So I want to say to these young people here, you're in exactly the right place. Now, South Carolina is a paradise. Environmentally, it's the most beautiful place you can be. With the mountains, the oceans, the low country, and everything in between, you can't beat it. That's why people are coming. But the main reason these manufacturers that could go anywhere in the world are coming to South Carolina they say it's because of three things. The people, the people, the people. They're talking about you. They say the people of South Carolina will work, they're smart, and when they give you their word, they'll keep it. And that's why they're coming and they will keep on coming. But there's one thing to note. Right now we have 60,000 great jobs in manufacturing. 60,000 high-paying jobs looking for people right now. So there's no better place on this earth to live, work, and raise a family.